भगवत गीता चैप्टर टू वर्सेस 25 एंड 26 कृष्णास एनिग्मेटिक इंस्ट्रक्शन द बॉडी इज सर्विंग द पर्पस ऑफ द सोल एंड इफ वी किल समबडी then we are destroying that person's vehicle we don't have the right to do it but why is arjun out here being instructed by shri krishna to kill bhagavad gita shloka chanting is followed by translation and commentary by swami mukundananda watch till the end to hear an eye opening story from the puranas अव्यक्तमचिंत्योयिकोच्यते तस्म विदिवैनमुशोचि तथ चैनम नि मनसे मृत The soul is spoken of as invisible, inconceivable, and unchangeable. Knowing this, you should not grieve. for the body if however you think that the soul is subject to constant birth and death o mighty armed arjun even then you should not grieve like this naivam shochitu this word shok has come again don't lament arjun shri krishna is trying to explain to him that you cannot kill anyone because everybody is the soul so then why should you lament and if you think the person is the body the body is subject to constant death even for the body you should not lament when lord ram he killed bali because bali had thrown sugriva out and he had usurped the whole kingdom tara was lamenting bali's wife at that time lord ram said do pad yaha tab aage sova jeev nitya ke hi lagi tum rova tara why are you lamenting if you are lamenting for the soul of your husband the soul does not die he has not died if you are lamenting for his body the body is in front of you what is there to lament about so lamentation comes out of lack of understanding that's what shri krishna is telling us arjun you can never kill anyone Now you may say that all right if that's the case let's stretch this argument a little further if you cannot kill anyone then nobody can murder anyone then society can never punish anybody for murder now why do we say all right capital punishment still exists in america so and so has murdered so and so he is sentenced to the electric chair then they should be absolved of all sin of murder well we do not have the right to disturb this vehicle for another person the body is serving the purpose of the soul and if we kill somebody then we are destroying that person's vehicle we don't have the right to do it but why is arjun out here being instructed by shri krishna to kill you see everything in a certain situation it has a purpose it is always wrong to kill but in some situations it's the right thing like there was this decoy called veerappan 
in India, in Karnataka, a few years ago. He had killed 2,000 people and 1,000 elephants. He used to reside in the forest and the police was unable to find him. He was so deeply hidden in those forests. So the government had declared that you bring Veerappan dead or alive, you will get a prize of one crore. So the police killed him. Now the police officers started claiming the prize. The government said, no, you are doing your duty, you don't get the prize. Like America declared that Bin Laden has to be killed. So when he was killed, it was not, oh, who was the person who killed him? Let's sentence him to the electric chair. In other words, in certain occasions, even that killing is the appropriate measure. In certain occasions, it is inappropriate to tell the truth. Inappropriate to tell the truth, that's right. The Puranas relate the story of Satyavrat Muni. Satyavrat Muni was a Satyavrati. He had this vow that I will only tell the truth. Now some decoits were chasing a helpless person. This person came running to the hut of Satyavrat Muni and he hid inside the hut. So the decoits came, they asked Satyavrat Muni, has that person come to your hut? Is he hiding inside? Satyavrat Muni said, now what should I do? I am a Satyavrati, I should tell the truth. So he said, yes, he is hiding inside. Their decoits went in, they caught hold of this person and killed him. Now the sin of killing him, Satyavrat Muni also became culpable in it because he had led to that poor person's killing. So in this situation, it was inappropriate for him to tell the truth. So the code of conduct is decided by the situation. So out here, Sri Krishna is explaining through various ways that Arjun must do his duty and he should not lament. Thank you for being a part of the Gita Gyan Yagya, which is our humble attempt to spread the divine knowledge of the Bhagavad Gita. Please subscribe to our channel 